Hello, my darlings. It's Mrs. Bonson Burner here. Oh, I'm just so loved learning about creation. And gosh, we're nearly there of doing day six of the animals and man. This is a very, very important lesson. In fact, I thought just because we're starting at the beginning, I too should start at the beginning. Do you remember last week I did A? A is at the beginning, isn't it? A for astronomy. I talked about the stars. I talked about how God cares about us, even though all of the heavens are out there. It says, what is man that you are even mindful of him? Isn't that amazing? Well, what comes after A? B. Now, B is for belief because, do you know, belief is very important in science. People put a lot of belief in science. They think if the scientists believe it, then it must be true. But can we believe the scientists more than the Bible? No, 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 my darlings. We have to believe the Bible more than the scientists. In fact, do you know that through history, the best of the best have actually believed the Bible. There's some funny stories I could go on and on for a very long time. Do you know that they used to believe, you're not going to believe this, it's ridiculous. They used to believe that the earth was like hanging on a tortoise. <laughs> I know, isn't it ridiculous? But do you know what the Bible says? The Bible says that the earth is hanging in space. Oh, they read this and they think, what is this? They look into it and they realize that it's true. So many things in the Bible already were there before the scientists even discovered them. I know I can't go on. I know I must not carry on, but I'll just tell you one more thing. There was even a man who read the Bible and it said there was channels through the sea. And he said, what is this? And he was so curious that he went and he discovered all of those amazing currents that go through the world, that even in the universities today, they still lose the things that he discovered, all of those pathways. I know I must stop, I must stop, but it's amazing, the Bible must be believed. Now, I have to tell you another ridiculous thing. I know the scientists, they'll have me off the air if I carry on like this, but it's true. They believe that in the beginning there was, are you ready? There was oh, nothing, absolutely nothing. And then all of a sudden there was something. Oh, I don't know how they believe that, but uh, they do. <laughs> I've got my girls here and they're, they're doing some amazing drawing. And I, you know, I said to them, come on, just draw something. Just." Just use nothing, no pens, no paper, just nothing. They were like, Mum, you've gone crazy. Oh, I'm not Mum. They said, Mrs. Bonson Bernie, you've gone crazy. I said, well, the scientists say it, it must be true. Ha, the scientists are funny, aren't they? So B is belief. All I want you to know today, darlings, is believe the Bible, not always the scientists. In fact, you be the scientist, you read the Bible, and I, I will be there backing you up. You'll probably discover something that no one else knows. Wouldn't that be amazing? I'll well, see you, my darlings. And don't forget that I love you and have an awesome day. Bye.